Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science, it's Mike Chen. Many people want to believe that there's more to life, existence, you know, the big questions than what we see in front of our faces, but maybe there isn't yet. Maybe there is. The human mind is filled with wonder and that's because there are just so many things that we either do not know or have questions about. Our sentience, our ability to be aware leads us in seeking answers to the questions and to try to find the real in the surreal. And one of the biggest questions of human existence is, are we alone in this galaxy, this universe? Now the existence of alien life will probably forever be debated until, you know, one actually shows up. But a lot of the talk has morphed into another dimension mention, if you will, possible parallel universes. Because as science and subsequently technology continues to advance, more and more researchers and great minds are beginning to think that we truly are not alone. That aside from the possibility of aliens, that there are neighbors maybe very much like us, and our neighbors actually might be another version of us. The rationale for such thinking stems from thorough examinations, observations of how the universe appears and is made up. The conclusion is that there are anomalies in space time, existence itself that stem from something and that equally affects what we come to believe is reality. One of these anomalies are white holes. And a pervading thought is that just possibly these white holes could be a connecting point to parallel universes. Now the entire premise of the white hole rests on the understanding of black holes. As black holes slowly and steadily leak radiation, it begins to evaporate. This stems from the black hole's event horizon. And the result of the leaking causes information, all information to be sucked in. However, this act in itself causes a fundamental problem because once in existence, information cannot and should not be able to be lost as it would be an evaporation stemming from a black hole. This has caused many great minds to postulate that since information cannot be lost and it must go somewhere, that something has to happen to it. And this is all part of quantum theory. So if it has to go somewhere, where does it go? The absence of information in one place or system means that it must be in another and therefore the information lost to black holes must be found somewhere else and possibly through what many now believe is the inverse of the black hole the white hole so if you think of all this in terms of travel then one aspect that must be accounted for is that there must be some connecting element between the black hole and the white hole very much like it would be in our travels here on earth in our world like when you're traveling from one place to another land or sea or a bridge something that links one one place to another. The working theory involving black holes and white holes is that there must be a connector for them as well. Wormholes. A wormhole would be the bridge between the black hole and the white hole and would connect the two separate universes, ours and the other. The wormhole would be our way of traveling through and getting to the other universe. However, the actuality of that taking place is almost fundamentally impossible because of the instability of the wormhole and the subsequent compression because of the singularity from the event horizon of the hole. Does that make sense? Already more theories are being formed about how to cross and the mere existence of exotic matter could hold the answer to one day traveling maybe to another universe. And if you guys like this topic, check out my other videos about the Mandela effect and other dimensions. I'll link those for you in my description box below where you can click this link right here. Thank you all again so much for watching. See you later.